Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dion Bloodworth, and this is episode 21 of Unscripted and Unchained. This is a, uh, an update for my uh, summer news. Um, so quite a few things have happened in the last uh, week and a half or so, and uh, I just wanted to uh, keep you all uh, you know, informed about uh, you know, some of the, the positive summertime news that uh, I've been getting. And uh, first of all, um, the channel is doing pretty well. It's, it's growing. Uh, you know, I have more and more subscribers uh, chiming in. Uh, I'm getting some, uh, you know, some comments as far as uh, content to include. Uh, so that's, that's much appreciated. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, you know, I, I welcome you to subscribe and uh, hit the bell for, um, you know, so that you get uh, a notification when I put up new videos. And uh, again, if you have any suggestions or any comments that you want to make uh, on any of the videos, you know, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. I, I appreciate it. And it helps me produce content that you're, you're looking to uh, actually see me, you know, do. So I, I welcome that. Um, continuing on with the good news. So, uh, Crown City, uh, Crown City Con is a, a gaming convention here in uh, New York State. It's in uh, Cortland, New York. It's scheduled for September 22nd and 23rd. And that's a Saturday and Sunday uh, in uh, September. And uh, I am so far slated to, uh, you know, to assist, to be a volunteer assistant uh, during the convention. But, uh, you know, more excitingly, I am running uh, three gaming sessions of uh, four hours apiece. Two of them are for uh, the Conan uh, 2D20 RPG. And the third is a uh, AD&D first edition uh, adventure. All three adventures are adventures that I've uh, written on my own. And, uh, you know, although I've, I've run a couple of them, tested them through some gaming groups, you know, of mine. But, uh, but they're all going to get a tweak during the summertime and, and get ready for, you know, what I'm hoping is, a, uh, is an excellent turnout uh, for September's gaming convention. That's my first gaming convention that I'm attending, um, certainly as a DM. It's my first uh, gaming convention that I'm attending uh, since uh, Gen Con 18, 1985. So it's been a long, long uh, break from actually attending gaming, you know, RPG gaming conventions. I've been to several Comic Cons and... Uh, you know, and other electronics gaming conventions and such, but this is this is really my return to tabletop RPG. Even though I do ninety nine percent of it, uh, you know, online. So that's that's the first really really big news is is that uh, coming along. Uh, continuing summer, uh, you know, summertime. About to go on vacation in uh, in three weeks uh, or two weeks, and. Um, I already, I just got all of my books in order that I'm taking with me because to me, vacationing is not, you know, true vacationing if you don't have at least three books along with you. So uh, I'm going to switch views here and, uh, and present to you the, uh, the books that I'm bringing along. And if you have any comments about these uh, three particular books, you know, um, you know, please feel free to add your comments about them, uh, especially if you've read them already you know, and uh, what your, uh, what your thoughts are on each of them. So the first up, and we'll switch her up, wrong screen. The first up is uh, Of Dice and Men all right, by David uh, Ewalt. I guess I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's a story of Dungeons and Dragons and the people who play it. You know, so uh, I haven't really gotten into, you know, into the book. It's, you know, obviously hardcover. Very good condition, although they put a, a label on the uh, on the dust cover, which kind of kills me. But it's not, uh, you know, it was originally U.S. twenty six dollars. I paid eight bucks for it, so I really can't complain. Um, so that's that's the first book I'm bringing along with me. Uh, second book is Empire of Imagination, and that's. Uh, you know, the story of Gary Gygax and the birth of Dungeons and Dragons by Mal Michael Whitwer. You know, and uh, 
I'm Facebook friends with several of, uh, you know, several of uh, Gary Gygax's uh, children. Um, and, you know, I asked them about, you know, some of these books and everything. And, and they were, you know, they were, they were not expressly said, you know, oh, that's a great book or anything like that. But certainly they're, um, they're books that they were aware of. And, and, and so the, the books have some credibility, at least they're not, you know, not going to be overly negative or anything of, of the kind. So that's what I was kind of looking for. Uh, next book is from uh, Patrice L uh, L Lunette, um, The Robert E. Howard Guide. All right, so this is put out by Skelos Press. Uh, very recent book uh, just came out. And, uh, you know, I haven't dug into it very much, but I, I have several uh, things from Skelos, uh, Skelos Press that, um, you know, I had, I had backed their Kickstarter uh, a little over a year ago. And uh, so that's now in its uh, three editions. So, uh, and I believe a fourth edition is, uh, is on its way out. So I highly recommend those books as well. You know, I'm looking forward to reading this. So that's my, my three books for reading for uh, this summertime. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do a review of each when I get back uh, from vacation. Um, I expect that I, I might get through at least two of them, if not more. Uh, maybe I can finish all three up. It depends on how, you know, how quickly they actually read. Other, uh, other channel news, uh, the, the on-screen gaming, uh, the OSG uh, Facebook community is still continuing to grow and we're getting more and more people involved uh, with, with it. Uh, more people, uh, you know, sponsoring events or, um, a lot of new, uh, lot of new posts, you know, from uh, you know people that are producing maps to, you know, like I said, people running events, and uh, trying to kind of integrate my, you know, now growing Facebook, uh, you know, points of contact into both this channel and into uh, that gaming community. I, I think the more, the more we as a community start bringing all of us small time YouTubers and, you know, the, the, the groups of, you know, anywhere from several hundred to several thousand members on Facebook, but various role playing, uh, communities together. <coughs> I think the better off, um, our hobby will be because, um, you know, when we bring all of us little guys together, we, you know, uh, we actually start, you know, numbering in the, in the tens of thousands. So I think that if I look at the various Facebook communities that I'm, you know, attached to, I mean, some of them have three or 4,000 members, um, you know, and, and I've, I've joined dozens and dozens of them. So I think at my disposal, you know, uh, as far as that networking is concerned, I probably have about 20,000 people that I could reach um, going into each of those individual communities, you know, and so uh, it's something that I recommend that you actually, you know, get into doing. Um, now I've been I've been, you know, following you know a lot of new uh, a lot of new channels that I've been coming into contact with, and uh, one one channel I want to give uh, a shout out to is our Artichoke Dip, and. Uh, He's been running a series of videos, and I think that's pretty much his channel's focus is on solo RPG, uh, and that that is you know using you know an emulator. I'm going to switch over to that that view again, um, so my desktop view, and so this is a book that uh, or booklet that he mentioned that um, you know we should take a look at, and so this is the Mythic Game Master emulator, and it's just the it's just the randomizer so that you can run a solo adventure and then the books you use the books charts and graphs and you know and dice rolls in order to determine certain out outcomes of your of your story as it progresses and there are um you know there are several you know so here's a chart so there's the the fate chart that you use and it asks various questions 
Um, so like the odds, is it an impossible task or is it a has to be task? And then the various possible outcomes, you know, based on your dice rolls. And then here's a, a chart. You know, I'm sorry, they're a little bit blurry. Um, but here's a chart where you can actually chart out the, the progression of the actual adventure. Um, you know, here's, a, here's the other page with, with a random, random events, their meanings and actions, and the event meaning and subject and such. So you can, you can generate adventures on the fly using this as well uh, for a group of players. Or um, like he suggests, you could use this a, as a solo gaming experience as well. And so, uh, so that's another website that, or a YouTube channel that you should definitely look into uh, if you have any, you know, any desire to see what some of the um, what some of the ideas about solo RPG are out there. Uh, that's certainly something that you should look into. Let me go back to this. So anyway, um, so like I said, I, I mean, there's a lot of things coming along. Uh, I'm I'm very happy with the. Uh, you know, with the channel and, and I, I hope that, you know, you're enjoying the content. And, and once again, if there's anything that you want me to uh, take a closer look at, you know, please feel free to leave a comment. If you have a Kickstarter that you're, you know, that you're interested in, or you're actually running yourself, um, that is RPG related, please let me know. Um, I, I see one of my Kickstarters today just went through, uh, not my Kickstarter, but one that I had backed, uh, the Solomon Kane, um, it's like a tabletop, uh, tabletop board game, basically. Um, so that just got back today, uh, just, you know, you know, just closed out today. And so, uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to. I don't think I'm going to actually get it until sometime next year, but, um, you know, really looking forward to the, the solo play opportunities that are with that uh, with that game. Um, <coughs> so once again, if you have a Kickstarter that you think I'll be interested in, please feel free to uh, put up its link in my comments page. You know, and if I you know if I check out a Kickstarter and I end up purchasing it, and I end up getting the the PDF you know versions of it, then I will certainly do a video. Um, you know, basically explaining a little bit about the game, like, like I did with my last video with um, with Survive This Zombies that I got from uh, Bloat Games. And, um, you know, I, I really would like to dedicate some of my channel's time to uh, boosting other other channels out there and, uh, you know, and other persons and game, you know, game developers out there that um, I've taken an interest with and you know whose products that I like to use. So um, once again, uh, thank you for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't uh, clicked on the bell, uh, make sure you double click on the bell so that uh, you'll get alerts when I put up new videos. And I look forward to seeing you on the uh, gaming screen sometime soon. Have a good day.